Um, a lot of potential to be super obedient. I mean, you can tell he wants to work, right? Mm -hmm. Problem is, is he's obsessed with food, which is making him aggressive over it, okay? So again, animal, canine, food. There's, it's, these are primal instincts we're dealing with here. So he needs to understand that not only can he not growl and bite to get what he wants, kind of like a kid doing, you know, doing something and then you being like, okay, fine, you can have it. They're going, to, they're going to always want to do that, right? Yeah. But you have to be safe, and that's what I'm here to do. So this dog, with my years of experience, I can tell is not inherently an aggressive dog. He doesn't mean any harm. He's not malicious. So the only issue he has is when a high value food is around, it's his, or he thinks it's his. So you have to be able to say, no, it's not and break it down, right? Because it's right now it's hit or miss, which means if I take this food, I want him to know like, yes, you can have it, right. but you can take it from me out of my hands very nicely. You can sit for me. So I'm taking this high value obsessive behavior and I'm kind of desensitizing it to like, hey, you're gonna get it a bunch if you work. So I want him to understand that he has to work for his food, or he has to work for that high value. And then we're gonna work on the actual command. So when I put the food down, okay, <laughs> he wants to do everything for it. Yeah, buddy. So this is good. So when I put the food down, he's going to lunge for it, and I'm going to just say, leave it. Okay? Then I have to make sure that the dog understands that it's not the food that's becoming a negative. It's when you lunge at it without my permission, that's where it's negative. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's kind of step one. The second step is going to be, when he has it, will he back off of it? So in a perfect world, He's going he's gonna to lunge for it, I'm going to say leave it, and he's going to back off. That way if he does have it and it's in his possession and you're not around and you say leave it, he might back off. All right? That's it. Oh, I'm going to let him know what I got here, okay? So I'm going to put it in this bowl. Now, leave it. There's a couple of different things that we've already done, right? So before he was completely out of control. So not only did we have aggressive behavior for food, food aggression, we had a dog that was completely out of control in general, which those two, they, they get along very well, yeah. right? So now that we've kind of got him under control of the little micro prong and he's very responsive to the leash, he's understanding that, hey, the pressure on the co collar means something, right? So I can't ever correct a dog unless they know that they're doing something wrong, right? So I'm gonna give, I'm kind of gonna set him up here. Good. Leave it. Good. So did you pull it a little bit? I, I, he pulled himself. Oh. And that's hard for me because I, 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 I don't explain to you what I'm doing. I just do it. And I, my mind works dog, right? So it's, it's hard. I already knew in my left hand I had enough room to correct him. So it, it's kind of like if you've ever seen movies where Iron Man can like look at things and like you know, dictate exactly how far it is, what he needs to do for speed. No, right. That's what I did. So I put it down. And judging by the, the, the distance it, weighed, it was from the dog, I moved my hand up and down the leash to make sure if he lunged for it, he couldn't get it. Okay. So, yes, that's what I did. Okay. He, he corrected himself, okay? okay. So I'm gonna put this down. Yeah, buddy, good, good. So I'm not teasing him, I'm actually giving him food, and then I'm, oops, good. And then I pick it back up, okay? Okay. You see how we lunged the first time? Yeah. And I said that word, right? Yeah. And the second time, he didn't do it, okay? Leave it. Yes, good. The success is gonna come from when he lunges at that and I say leave it without pressure and he moves away. Okay. If he does that, we win and we're on to the next one, okay? Okay. And if he doesn't, then we have to continue to work on that. Okay, go. Can you just drop that? Yeah, or whatever, yeah. scientific purposes, of course, I'm going to kind of see where he's at with this. And leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so I got that like, oh, sorry. Okay, that's every word. Leave it. Leave it. Corrected him there for that. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, good. Okay, so that's, this is the process, okay? So now we're getting a little bit more in depth. Okay, good. Okay, now watch when I say that word, he's got to stop. Leave it. Yes, good. Wow. You okay. see? Yeah. Okay. Um, you want to know a secret? Yeah. Discipline will win with dogs every time. Every time. You would never be able to do this any other way. Give 
this. Good. Lower him out a little bit. Trying to get him up there. Good. Toby, leave it. Leave it. Yes, good. You see how he... Yeah, right? yeah. Good boy. So two things. Three things. First is I make it look easier than it is. Second, more importantly, this is just the beginning, but he, he, he can do this, okay? You can see this, right? Um, so I'm teaching him that... Fine, if you get away and grab, you know, you got kids, they got friends, you got cousins and whatever. If he gets something, well, when he does get something, because he will, and you say leave it, you have to make sure you reward him with something, okay? Because he's basically going to spit out a cookie and you have to be able to reward him. If you don't have anything, give him as much love as you possibly can and go find something to give him. Because the, the most important thing is, is these guys are safety, the yeah. kids. So if there's something going on, and these guys can teach him what leave it means too, and then we can work on a place command, okay? okay? So putting those two together, which is obedience and training, will take over the, the, the behavioral issues, which means if I teach him a place command, which means he has to go to a place, right, which I can do 100%, no doubt about it, and I say, hey, buddy, go to your place, right? Um, and the two are going to come together, right? So... He gets something like this, good boy, right? Leave it. Good boy, right? Off the crumbs, and then I say, go place. And he knows his place really well, and he runs to his place. You're safe, the kids are safe. He's not looking like a jerk, because he's really not. He just thinks he can get away with that stuff. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So this is how you're going to structure uh, a dog that is, you know, he's bitten two people, so it's it's not always oh, growling. He'll bite, yeah. right? So all you have to do is manage it, okay? With a little bit of discipline, uh, you can you can totally do it. Um, but you have to be fair too. I don't want to tease him, okay? Right. So it's teaching him with the leave it command, you know, walking, mm -hmm. and then kind of setting him up. The important thing is, is when I say leave it, I'm not going to then do it again. And then I'm not going to do it again, and I'm not going to walk away. When he takes his head and moves away from what he shouldn't be having, you pay him almost immediately with whatever you got. Okay. Okay? That's the important key here. Okay. But he is so under oath with me that he's not going to think twice about being any other way. I can't guarantee that's what he's going to do for you, because him and I have a different relationship than you and him. Okay? You're kind of his buddy. I'm not. I'm his teacher. Right. He's going to treat me differently, Okay. But that, that doesn't mean you can't have it. You just gotta start being a little bit more of a teacher, that's all. Yeah. Follow? Yeah. Okay. Leave it. That's my boy. Yes. Good. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that leave it command and then send him away. That's, so we're now we're gonna work on the away part. Okay, buddy. Good. Leave it. That's my boy. Come here. Good boy. And then I don't have anything, but give him love. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. Good boy. Go, leave it. Good, leave it. Good. Now we're going to transition work under place. Okay. okay. Place command is much easier, um, but it's they're, they're both really easy. Okay. Um, and then in the future, we'll put in the e-collar so you can do it anywhere in the house at any time. Okay. All right? Great. So, so now, same thing, okay? So now that we've conditioned place, yes, good place. Okay? All right, so now you break. So you walk into the house, there's a stake on the ground, he's like, ooh, get that. He goes over, you don't have to leave it. Go to your place. Good boy! Good. Yeah. So those two together.